Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time we built this thing. Our insane Dodge Charger Ice Charger with this enormous engine sticking out of the hood. Some people may have said that I ruined that car, and those people would be, well... Correct. I was thinking, why don't we do our best this time to head to the junkyard and try to save a very, very famous supercar? That took us less than five minutes to find the car today. Say hello to the legendary Ferrari Enzo. One of the coolest cars of the 2000s. Uh, apparently the guy who owned this, it was apparently his only car. It has 285,000 kilometers. Anyways, it's got 800 horsepower, which is pretty good. And somehow it only costs 41,000 bucks. Somebody out there actually painted their Ferrari Enzo British Racing green. That is definitely one way to get banned from Ferrari. Anyways, today we are, I mean, hopefully, cross fingers, that we're gonna be able to make the Ferrari Enzo great again. Let's lift the thing up in the air. Let's get rid of these rusty up. Uh, those are Pagani rims. How did Enzo ever let this car out of the factory? Let's get rid of all of these nasty parts, all of this nasty suspension. That engine is gonna have to go. There's no actual like rust on the body of this car, but I still feel like we should bring the welder over just to be safe. Use the welder for a thousand bucks. Oh, there we go. It's taken out all the little scratches. Okay, it still looks terrible in green but it looks less terrible than it did before. Be careful that you tonight not drop the soap in the shower. You never know who is behind you. Bro, wear an orange hoodie, they said. It would be fun, they said. I haven't played this game in like a month or two months. We are flying through the teardown process. We haven't even been working on this car for like 10 minutes and nearly everything is off of it already. I need the engine crane. I gotta pull the engine out, please. It still really bothers me that the engine crane goes to the front of the car instead of the back, but it is what it is. And I believe with that, everything is pulled out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have, I, have I missed something? Oh, I've missed a left side mirror. Just like that, everything from our Ferrari Enzo is gone. If you ever wanted to know the value of a Ferrari Enzo shell, at least according to this game, is 8,000 bucks. <laughs> so Twitch chat wants me to start off with the engine and with none other than a V12 engine. We're building our own V12. 800 horsepower. The last engine that I built may have also been a V12 engine, so... I think I may have a couple of parts for this engine. I'm definitely gonna get a couple of these upgraded parts in, but I'm not gonna go over the top and go full horsepower build for this. I've even got the upgraded parts. Like this gives me an extra 7% horsepower. That is insane. Yo, look at those. They're even Ferrari red. That looks so good. Fun fact, there's only one guy in the world that's allowed to build the V12 Mercedes engines for Pagani. I am not one of them. <laughs> Our engine bay kind of looks like Connect 4 with all of the upgraded parts and the non-upgraded parts, but you know. I've got a feeling that Mr. Enzo wouldn't be too happy about this or about this. Half an hour later, our Mercedes AMG Pagani Zonda R that I built while wearing a McLaren hoodie is finished and ready to go Watch into our hand. Ferrari. What's red crunchy and spins really fast? A baby in a blender. Moving on. Oh, that brought the mood down. <laughs> V12 DOHC, thank you very much. Our beautiful new shiny engine is in. That looks really, really good in there. I've got a custom gearbox looking good. You know, I, I'm not going to alarm anybody, but my axle doesn't actually connect to my gearbox in any meaningful way. That's supposed to be over there. Double wishbone shock absorber in. I feel like Gordon Ramsay. Off to the front, in. Just like that, we can lower down the Ferrari Enzo. Let's take a look at the car stats. 
96%. All right, we're looking pretty good. So I guess now we should probably just get some wheels on here. The tires we had on here before, no way, 235 in the front and 345 in the rear. There was definitely an old Ferrari back in the day that had rims like this, right? That were starred. I truly don't know if these things are gonna fit. I've got 375 in the rear with some extremely aggressive offset. And what about the front? Let's see, I've got 225s in the front, so not big at all but some massive offset. And I think some people might say those are over the top. I call those perfect engine spacers. Now is the part where we can finally do some Ferrari Enzo customization. That is a lot of stuff. Okay, let's start it off with the doors. No customization for the doors, obviously. Let's get them on. Our wing mirrors, thank you. Our windows, thank you. Tinted windows. Looking good. What is this? Front right fender. Yo, that's so much cool trim in there. When we come to our front bumper, that is when our customization actually starts to take effect. So that regular, normal Ferrari Enzo front bumper. However, we can make things a little bit more exciting than that by tossing on this. Twitch chat says that that's Forza Arrow? No way! It actually looks good. Look at our headlights as well. We've got regular ones and blacked out ones. We are definitely going with the blacked out one. We've got a rear bumper as well. Wait, don't tell me. Don't tell me that that's Forza Arrow on that rear wing. Anyways though, we've also got some different taillights. You gotta go with the red Ferrari taillights. Blacked out taillights are just ugly, don't at me. Open up the trunk, that's looking good. Engine cover, that says Ferrari now, looking good. It's even got like a little bit of like stability bars in there, that's so sick. Yo, even more trim. Yo, you can see the actual suspension for this car. That's pushrod suspension. Anyways, we got to take this thing over to the paint shop. Should our Ferrari Enzo be? Honestly, it doesn't actually look that bad in that blue or that green. I think we got to go red. I'm sorry. That looks so, so good. Even matte red. Before we take this thing out onto the open road, Shall we just give it a little bit of a go on the dyno? What? 1,300 horsepower? All right, well, um, as it turns out, the Enzo gonna be a quick boy. We definitely need to lower it down a little bit. It's a little bit on the big side. Try driving it around. It's a bit on the loud side, Enzo. Can we do a skid? No way. I've built a Ferrari Enzo drift car. And it actually works. Yeah, I, I don't think Mr. Enzo's too happy with the vehicle. And like every good Ferrari, it's got up in flames. All right, back to the garage. Some of you guys may remember all of these jumbly letters and stuff. I think it also needs to be a little bit wider, our Ferrari Enzo. So I'll, I'll mess with some stuff for that as well. I really think we need some more horsepower. That should be good enough. Oh, no. Oh, I am so... So sorry, Ferrari. I mean, I told you it would have more horsepower. That's 5,300 horsepower. I don't see a problem with that. Guys, I spawned into another race and apparently half of my engine has gone on straight. How about we just try to drive in a straight line and not do any more drifting? Okay, or just... You know, keep going in circles. I don't know if this is gonna work, but if I change this from rear wheel drive to all wheel drive, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna cross fingers and hope, okay? Is this thing now actually all wheel drive? Yes, it is, it is. Look at how nicely it goes in a straight line. Okay, that's super good to know. We're already doing 300 Ks, 600 kilometers an hour in the Ferrari Enzo with the rear wing with suspension that 
it looks like that. Let us touch 700. No, we're slowing down. No. Ferrari Enzo. This thing's actually sick. Hold on a second. Can I actually make it around? Well, that was weird. Based off how much smoke is coming out the back of this vehicle, if it's spinning its wheels at every opportunity, or if my Ferrari, like all Ferraris, has caught on fire once again. It's on fire. It's definitely on fire. It might not be the best looking thing in the world. It might not even drive properly, but it is pretty cool. I've crashed it again.